In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the break even when you have a company that sells more than one product. So we already know that in order to calcu uh, calculate break even, what we have is a shortcut where we can say fixed cost as our numerator divided by our denominator. So if we wanted units, we would say fixed cost divided by contribution margin. Well, if we sell more than one product, for example, here we sell product AA and product BB, we have to get the contribution margin for both of these products together. In this situation, they tell you that AA is 60% and BB is 40% for sales mix. But you, you know, they don't always give that to you. So I want to show you how to calculate it if they didn't tell you that. They could have said, hey, our sales for AA is 30,000 and our sales for BB are 20,000. If you add these two together, AA and sales and BB to get a percent of each, you could take the sales of AA divided by the total. So here the total would be 50,000. So the sales of AA divided by the total and you would get 0.6. So you would see that that is 60%. Then you would say the sales of BB, 20,000 divided by the total of 50,000. And so that is 0.40, or if you change it to percent, 40%. So if they would have just told you what the sales of these two are, you can still get your sales mix percent, which is what you'll need. So we come over here to our contribution margin per unit and we say that the sales of AA are 60%, percent point sixty, <clears throat> and if we say our contribution margin times our point sixty or 60% 60 We can find that, that that this is $24 of contribution margin per unit. Um, and then our contribution margin for BB is going to be 35 times our 0.40. We put 0.40 here. So that would be... $14, so our sales mix contribution margin would be a total of $38. And then now we're going to come down here and plug this in. So fixed cost are $475,000 and we're going to do $475,000 divided by our contribution margin for our sales mix, which was our $38 we got up here. So our break even in units total is going to be 12500 But we need to know what is for what it is for both products for AA and for BB. So we're going to take it, we're going to take that 12,500 and first we're going to multiply it by our 0.60 and that is going to be break even in units for AA. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the 12,500. We're going to take the 12,500 and we're going to multiply it by 0 
and that is going to give me break even. In units for BB. So this is how we figure break even in units for a sales mix that is a company that has sold more than one product. So let me know if you have any questions.